my family didn't want to be around me and my brother didn't want to know me and I'm like, my brother means the world to me and if I haven't got him in my life, what's the point in living? This is 19-year-old entrepreneur Alex, who's looking for someone dazzling enough to divert his gaze from that screen. I'm not the best at chatting up girls. As my mates would say, my chat is quite dry. Either I talk too much about work or I'll start talking about kind of cars. What else do you talk about? <laughs> and what do you like then when you're dating? Motivated is the most attractive thing for me. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Blonde hair, well spoken, curvy. I haven't had much luck and I need a bit of luck. <laughs> So what's your background? What do you do? So I'm an apprentice hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Something you always wanted to do? I just, I just got into it just because it's a girly girl. So. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do. What do you do? So I do uh, medical laser treatments. OK. So um, like double chin reduction, like getting rid of scars, getting rid of acne scarring and so on. But yeah. So you're smart and I'm not. No, I'm, I've got one GCSE. I'm far from oh, smart. <laughs> what, what did you get it in? Oh. oh, I got geography. Oh. What grade? Four. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I was stock girl, always the cheeky kid, got kicked out of every school I went to. So was I. And then gave up at school when I was 15. Oh, yeah. Right, you good looking people, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, one sec, let me. Follow me. Oh, <laughs> nearly stacked it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Full of me already. Come on. Yes, he is. Honestly, I haven't been on a date so long, I don't really know what to ask. No. So, like, like what do you like doing? Do you do any sport, or...? So, I like shooting, like clay pigeon shooting. I'm a proper private school boy. Right, OK. Used to Went be to a private school? Yeah. What was it like at private school, anyway? Cos... So, was it an all-boys? So, the first one, which got kicked out of for porn. So, you kicked out for porn? So... <laughs> so, me and my mate... I turned 12, I've just got my new iPhone, OK? Right. He goes, have you heard of porn? Oh, I look it up and I'm like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Have a little scroll through. The kid behind me snakes on me, goes to the head teacher. Well, they search me. You know on, like, Apple search history, I had 34 things and all the spelling mistakes. I couldn't even spell lesbian. <laughs> I was looking at lesbian. <laughs> I was always the cheeky one. I was, I'd always back chat to teachers and so on. Then eventually, once, when I was at my last school, they kind of gave up on me. Basically, picked up a drug addiction when I was younger, so I started smoking weed when I was 12. God! Then I went into Ket, Coke, Valium. I can't remember from June 2019 to June 2020. Like, my memory's blank. I thought I was in control of it the whole time, but I slowly started losing friends. My family didn't want to be around me, and my brother didn't want to know me, and I'm like, my brother means the world to me, and if I haven't got him in my life, what's the point in living? I went into rehab. I was in there for 15 days, and I'm one year, three months, and 20 odd days sober. Oh, that's really good. The reason why I've got like so many businesses is purely if I'm bored or get distracted, I'm gonna have cravings. So I got addicted to working. I came out of rehab, and I got addicted to a healthy addiction instead of an unhealthy addiction. I try and be myself. As a drug addict, I will forever say I'm a drug addict. I know most people would hide it and be ashamed of it, but in all reality, it's maybe who I am, but it puts people off. Yeah. But I feel like, like you said, it makes you who you are, yeah. and you're here today. Yeah, exactly. And you're a different person. Yeah. This is why I've tried to prioritise my life a bit more and my work-life balance. I'm financially stable, but I just need to fill in the blanks, really, and that's a girlfriend. That's so cute.